Hey everyone, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and do a few reality shows on the side. And today we're going to be talking all about General Hospital. Um, I'm actually call, uh, calling, I'm calling in. Uh, I'm actually filming from my uh, hotel room in Vancouver, Washington, where I'm here for a casino opening for the next 12 days. So um, get ready to see this background a lot because <laughs> this is where I'm going to be doing the show from. And then I come home and I literally go right to the daytime Emmys. Still so excited about that. You have no idea. So excited. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Um, okay, so General Hospital. Okay, so General Hospital... Let's see. The big reveal this week was that, you know, Jax um, admitted that he paid off Frank Benson for um, Nell's kidney to save Jocelyn's life. Now, he said, I didn't know that he was going to use his own kid's kidney. I just knew he was going to give us a kidney. That was it. And then it came out that Nell's father, Frank Benson who was also Car uh, Carly's adopted father, um, gambled away their money. And the whole time he had been blaming Carly, saying he, she never gave him anything. And, and you know, Nell grew up hating Carly, needing revenge. So she gets this brilliant idea. She's like, oh, well, I know how I can make this better because I'll tell Sunny that we didn't really sleep together because they didn't. So she tells him... And he goes and tells Nell, uh, not Nell, um, Carly. He runs to Carly's house. And um, Carly had already slept with Jax. And she didn't really care. She's like, we're done, Sonny. Goodbye. Peace. I was like, okay. All right. Well, so much for that. So that was kind of like the main thing. And then also... Um, um, let's see, there was the whole thing with Lulu. She had her first visit with Charlotte, and it actually went very well. And in fact, Charlotte, because uh, Valentine came about 10 minutes early, and she said, you owe me 10 minutes, 10 more minutes with Lulu next time. And that was really cool. That was cool because Lulu was crying and, you know, it was cool that they had um, a good time together. Although they didn't, oh my God, they did an Easter egg hunt. And, you know, it's not like they're, they're, the Easter eggs were that hard to find, you know. So, I, when I was growing up and I had Easter egg hunts, that shit was hard to find. Like, I would have to, like, dig in the yard for the eggs and, like, climb trees and shit. I mean, like, it was everywhere, right? It was difficult to find, you know? And I loved it. I had the best time. It was like an adventure, right? If everything was just right out for me, I'd be, like, done in, like, a few seconds, and I'd be, like, bored. I liked that I had to do all that stuff for the eggs. I thought it was exciting. I enjoyed that a lot, so... But I get it that, you know, this is a show with a limited budget, so they can't be doing... Although I do have to say, they haven't done that many scenes with their park, which is out, which is outside. And I think it's on the studio lot. So, you know, I don't know what's up with that, but they should, they should at least do some more stuff at the park, I think. Which is weird, because... <sighs> Sorry, it's what's it's weird because you know that normally when I talk about days of our lives, I'm talking about always like oh god that fucking park, and even Carolyn Hensey's like oh god that park recently, which is funny because I haven't been saying that at all lately because I think they've actually dialed that back. But General Hospital's park is outside, and I think that they could use a little more outside shots. Same thing with Chancellor Park on Young and the Restless. You know now that this it's weird because. Now that it, because everything films in Los Angeles, and now that it is, you know, springtime in Wisconsin, which is where Young and the Restless takes place, you would think that they would do a lot more stuff outside. So, I don't know. We'll wait and see. 
we'll see how that goes. Um, but the, I'm not here to talk about any of the rest of us. Today I'm talking about General Hospital. You know. But I have to say, as a fan of daytime television, I am a fan of daytime television. You know, I know when actors go from show to show, when writers go from show to show, when executive producers go from show to show. Like, I follow everyone's career, which for, I don't know how I have room in my brain to do that and how I have done that for 32 years, 30, close to 39 years. crazy but I will have to say that because I am because I do follow soap operas and I have since I was a kid thanks to my grandmother I think that that's what has made me I knew like that's what makes me good well when I was a gay porn reporter it was good for me getting the gossip that's how I could follow the gossip on all the gay porn stars because I had that background in soap where you follow multiple storylines all at once so you know that's how that worked out so I, I I'm I'm just really excited to be celebrating the genre in general at the daytime Emmys now it's not just soap operas being you know honored at the daytime Emmys there's also you know talk shows and game shows and cooking shows and blah 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 and children's shows and all that shit, but I'm really there for the the soap operas. I really want the soap operas to win, you know. And and I can't believe that's not televised anymore. Anyways, we won't get into that whole mess again because I've already went off on that once. Okay, so in in terms of the other storylines, let's see. Um, uh, Alexis, Alexis is convinced that Julian is alive. And um, when Dylan is snapping some photos of Alexis with um, Jason and Sam and Danny and um, Scout, you know, they there's a pic, there's a guy in the background, and they close up on the image, and it's totally Julian. So I don't know where they're going with that. I don't know if they're softening Alexis towards Julian. I don't know, and I honestly. I would rather see Alexis do... Alexis is a fantastic actress, and I would love to see her do something else. They keep pulling her into that whole Jew Lexus web, and, and honestly, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but I do blame Twitter for that. You know, oh my God, the Jew Lexus people are crazy, right? Um, I loved her with Jax, actually. I love Jaxis, you know. A lot of people don't, you know, mention Jaxis. They think, oh, I liked Alexis with Sunny, or I liked Alexis with, with Julian. No, I like her with Jax because he's not in the mob. Oh, that okay, so let's talk about Jax real quick. So when Jax came to town, he came to town because he wanted to tell everyone that his mom had died. And that is the one, because you know how... Both myself and Carolyn Hinsey always say, if it doesn't happen on camera, it's difficult to make the audience care about it. The exception to that rule is if someone dies in real life, you know, and then I think it should be addressed and it should be addressed quickly as it was with Lady J or Lady Jane or whatever the hell her name was, Jax's mom. I think that, and, and, and honestly, I think it was done very well. You know, Jax came to town, he told Carly, he told Jocelyn, you know. So that that makes sense. I honestly love the way that they handled that. I really do. As opposed to Stefano Demira, who had been dead for months, and then they trotted out this story where he's still alive, and they used a bunch of recycled footage. I mean, it was, that was... Anyways, so kudos to you, General Hospital, on that. Because that was very well... Because the actress that played her died, you know? So rather than recast, they they did a memorial to her. It was great. I loved that. I thought that was wonderful. Where's Aaron? That's what I want to know. Remember that guy that Christina was seeing when she was kind of flip-flopping between boys and girls and she wasn't sure what she wanted and she had a boyfriend named Aaron and she was still screwing her teacher Parker but whatever happened to him he kind of disappeared off the face of the earth and he was cute too so I'd like to see him come back you know 
Um, I'm trying to think of everything else, but that's pretty much all that happened on General Hospital this week. So uh, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can also hashtag GH to talk General Hospital, or you can hashtag Pump Rules to talk Vanderpump Rules because part three of, is it three? or is, No, yeah, it's part three because Jay's coming out. Part three of the reunion is tomorrow night, so I'm very excited to see that. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.